Girls, I'm going to be showing you some basics about searching on the Bridgerton Library homepage for Oliver. Oliver is the search engine that we use at this school. So as Gothic fiction is very popular, let's see what happens if we write the word Gothic in the search box. Look, we've got all these options come up. So if you're interested in Gothic painting, specifically, you would hit that and that would be narrowing your search and it would take you directly to those resources so you could track them down. But let's continue with this basic search. So we've just hit the green arrow. Now that brings up a range of resources. Okay, now these images, these world images basically tell us it's a website, the World Wide Web. This particular image tells us it's a book. This particular image tells us it's a video or DVD. This is a video image. Okay, now if we were to shift from a basic search to an advanced search, that can be quite useful if you are looking for a specific type of text. Okay, we've still got Gothic happening, but let's scroll down to website. What happens when we press the green arrow? Okay, we've only got websites. We've got 12 of them. So they, if it suits your interests, if it suits your purpose to start off by looking at, at looking at websites, that's exactly what you would do there. For this search, girls, we're going to experiment with a subject search a very popular topic that is studied sometimes in year 8, sometimes in year 7, is mummies. So let's write that particular word in the search box. Okay, now under subjects, we get a layout that is a little bit different to that of the basic search. Now there are 45 texts that come up, resources that come up under mummies. But this is useful because it's telling us that there are narrower and broader terms that might be useful for us to hit. For example, embalming. We know that mummies involve an embalming process. Once we do our research, we'll discover that. So if we want to explore embalming in a bit more detail. It's a topic that will be relevant to mummies and just treatment of preparation of the dead in various funeral rites. We could hit that one. So you've got options here that may be quite useful when you're doing research. So be mindful of that. Okay, let's hit mummies. And here we have 44 resources that come up under mummies. Now to move on to additional pages, you hit this button. This will take us right back to the beginning. Okay, let's do an advanced search on mummies looking for something specific. So we'll do the advanced search Okay, let's see if there are any DVDs on mummies. Sadly, no. Okay, let's do another advanced search. Note that you have to hit advanced search again. Let's see if there are any books on mummies. I bet there are. Well, there are 122 books and print texts on mummies because, as you will see, there are also magazines included here.
Now let's try to track down works by a particular author. Let's experiment. One of the very popular authors, particularly with Year 7 and 8, is Ruhl Dahl. So if we're doing a basic search, what comes up? Just note before we do that that there aren't too many texts that pop up under this here, that predictive text. So let's hit that. Okay. 24 texts in totality, including websites, come up when we go into the basic search on Rule Dahl. So let's go for an author search and see if that is different. Okay. Now we get fewer texts when we select the author search because all of these texts are by Dahl rather than including texts that are also about him. Again, we might find an advanced search useful. What about if we're interested in DVDs? Let's see what comes up. No. Well, if we're interested in audiovisual, we can continue with that advanced search. So, no DVDs, but perhaps there are videos. And we have the witches and Danny, the champion of the world. So that has helped us to come up with videos as opposed to DVDs. Note here, girls, the green around the tick. We've got the tick, we've got the green. That is green for you can go and get that resource. It's available. The next type of search we'll try is a title search. Why don't we type in Matilda? Well, unfortunately Matilda's out, so we'll have to come back and look for that another time. Alternatively, girls, we can put a reserve on Matilda, and the how-to of that is something that we'll focus on in another video. Once again, we've got the dial texts up. Notice the different types of texts. Notice the fact that some are in and some are out. What about this drop-down menu? We've got relevance. Well, we've found items that are relevant to our search, but there must be some other things there. Oh, popularity. Okay, so once we rank the search in terms of popularity, we find out that the witches, the book, the witches, is the most popular dull text. And sometimes if we're starting out with an author, if we're experimenting, it may be helpful to find the most popular book written by that particular author. Girls, just say you wanted to test out Gothic fiction. So choose Gothic fiction. Okay, that's, they are the results from our basic search and they are ranked in accordance with popularity. So we know that the Ellen Schreiber series, Vampire Kisses, is extremely popular. Uh, Christine Fian's doing well with the Dark Prince series and there are others, other books that can be looked at. Sedgwick, here we go, we're back to Schreiber forever. 
The Vampire Academy novels are also very popular. These are all books that can be investigated.